And I love, I love that you highlighted how small, how minute and how variable this neuroflexibility is in terms of external and or internal stimuli. Mm. Um, when people talk about being body first, somatically inclusive, um, really playing with this awareness of state, and then we'll talk about it in a moment, but it's relationship with story in the self is the basis because this is such profound stuff that we can understand cognitively but just how it moves in our own bodies is the basis for really understanding it. That so it's our reality, that movement reality. of energy through our bodies, emotions, energy and motion throughout our nervous system, mm -hmm. whether it's generated, generated self with self as a reaction to a thought we had or something that we see or smell or hear or taste mm -hmm. or, or feel, you know, with our skin and our fingers or our, our sensory apparatus our proprioception from outside our bodies, it's all, you could call them all triggers, but you can have generative triggers. Not all triggers are bad. You know, a trigger could be, oh, I'm feeling hungry right now. What am I going to do about that? Or, mm -hmm. oh, I need to take a drink of water right now. What am I going to do about that? Well, you're nodding to a detour that I promise I won't take, but it's definitely something I'm really curious about exploring and sharing with other people, which is the relationship between safety and judgment, what we deem to be good and bad. Oh, so yes, that's a I won't detour, take. but we could, that's for another day. But we're talking about neuroception, essentially, interoception, proprioception, awareness. Yeah, let's stop uh, and uh, it, let's define those words. words. So interoception. I'm hungry. Is, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I need to change the cross of my legs because my legs are uncomfortable in this position. I'm starting to get some pain in my sacrum. If I continue to sit this way, that's an interoceptive uh, impulse is I need to change position, but interoceptive and proprioceptive have an intersection there. Proprioceptive is how do I know that that tendon or those nerves are starting to get activated? Proprioception is feedback that come from many kinds of specialized receptors that are intrinsic or embedded in our connective tissue matrix. Proprioception is more physically based cues. Interoception is more neurologically or autonomically based cues, especially mm -hmm. things like hunger or thirst or, um, you know, a sense that you're about to have a diarrhea attack. <laughs> All of those are fall under the category of interoception. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about neuroception because that mm -hmm. is a little bit more elusive. And mm -hmm. I'd love your definition for neuroception because I know you think about this a lot. All the time. It feels like the basis. So if like proprioception all the time, it feels like the basis. So if like proprioception is the body in the external world and interoception is the felt sense of the body from the inside out, I think neuroception sits beneath, beneath both of them, which is really how safe am I in this moment? So that is the autonomic nervous system. We could say yes. the autonomic nervous system and neuroception are almost synonymous. Yeah inextricably linked mm -hmm. back to that piece about the primary function of the autonomic nervous system is to assess the state of our safety. Yes.